Hey love, so it's time for another before and after beauty on a budget. So this one here, I'm going to be using in the beginning. I'm going to use um, somewhat of an expensive product, which is the Black Up Cosmetics, which is full coverage, along with my Mary Kay Bronze 504, which is also full coverage. I'm going to mix them together because the Black Ups Cosmetic is a little bit too light for my skin tone. So mixing them together will give me like the perfect match. And I'm going to be using this brush here, and I forgot the name of it, but I'll post it for you guys down below and also I'm going to be using my beauty technique sponge which you can get from Ulta along with that you can also get it from Walmart this is my favorite sponge by far I love it to death and I highly recommend it it just does wonders okay so the next product I'm putting on is the LA girls pro concealer in the color yellow just to brighten underneath my eyelids and I'm going to be using the Cesario I think that's how you pronounce it but I'll also post it below brush to blend it in and opposed to my sponge I usually normally use my sponge but I find that this brush does just like a great job with actually blending in now for my eyeshadow primer I'm going to be using something really inexpensive which is the Milani eyeshadow primer and you can pick that up at any drugstore and now on to one of my new palettes which I really like is the LA Colors I Love Makeup Contour Palette this is all powder shadow but it's a really really good or powder pressed powder but it's really good so I like to use the one color on my eyebrows just for color normally I'll use like my um, CoverGirl um, I think it's CoverGirl um, pressed powder but I like this color here and now on to the Clean Colors Day Trip palette which comes with 18 eyeshadows I'm going to be using this green here which is $6.99 at sister, sister21.com and I'll post all the information for you guys below but this is a really inexpensive palette and the color payoff is really amazing so I'm just gonna pat that onto my lower lids that pretty green it's more like an olive green but it's a beautiful color green and for the price only $6.99 you get 18 eyeshadows and I think about six blushes and a couple of facial powders but the palette is really really worth it and like I said you can get this from um, sister 21 I did use that kind of like brownish color in that palette along with that I'm going to be using my LA colors 12 eye color shadow palette this is my favorite one of my one of my favorite eye color or eyeshadow palettes because the colors are so neutral and you can wear them with just basically anything and I love that brown that I use which is like kind of like a medium bark color reddish brown it's a beautiful brown for transitioning colors so I use it a lot and along with that I'm going to go into my contour palette I'm going to use that kind of like eggshell color to contour my eyes with this palette you can use for anything even though it's for contouring your face I use it for eyeshadow as well because like I said it is a powder formula and it's just really great if you want to do a neutral look on your face and you don't want to put a whole bunch of colors on your eyes this is a great palette for that so it's basically an all-around palette and just to smooth it in I used my Sonia Kashuk brush and now onto some really inexpensive eyeliner which is the clean colors metallic black this one I'm not really great with liquid eyeliners but for some reason I'm really great with this one the brush is so easy to handle and the color is buildable so it does go on black um, some people may like it a little bit black or you can always go over it but the color came out perfect for me so I only went over it once and to top it off I'm going to be um, highlighting underneath my eyes with my Mary Kay which is like a beige um, a um, beige number four and I love this because it's a matte and it's full coverage it was too light for my face but it's perfect for highlighting like if you want a great highlighting foundation I would highly suggest getting the Mary Kay full coverage oh my god this matte foundation works beautifully like it really does do a great job with highlighting it's inexpensive um you will not find it at a drugstore but it's still inexpensive so i'm just going to blend that in with my real techniques blending brush and then i'm going to place it throughout my face like where i want my highlights to begin i always start with my eyes and i just build it up with the eye and this is a contour stick from city colors which is also really really cheap and it does come with a highlight at the bottom portion but I use the contour color because I do like the consistency and it's also a great contour stick for the price so just to make my face contour and highlight it and look a little freakish I'm gonna go ahead and beat my face with this sponge and just a little bit more highlighting and then I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and contour 
with the other end of my sponge lady this sponge is like ladies 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 a great sponge to have the angle of the sponge and the different size is just a great sponge to have I think it's like $5.99 at Ulta and as well as Walmart so trust me, this is my second one, the first one I've had quite some time. Now back into that I Love Makeup Contour Palette by LA Colors. I'm going to take that same darkest brown. There are two shades to this palette. This is um, one of the lighter sh um, shades, but there is a darker palette than this. But I'm just going to go ahead and contour my nose because I kind of beat it a little bit too much and blended it in a little bit too much. And also on my cheeks, I'm going to take that same brown out of that contour palette and sweep that over my already contoured cheek. Now one of my not so favorites is the Ben Nye Banana Powder, which I'm just going to use for the time being to set my makeup or my highlighting areas so that way there's no creasage. And into the LA Colors I Love Makeup Eyebrow Palette, which is a great eyebrow palette. I like to use it for eyeshadow because their colors are also powder, but they're also kind of like a pomade color. Um, consistency consistency as well this is the great palette you can also pick this up from sister 21 and the color that I just placed in my tear ducts is also from that palette now onto this LA girls mascara mega lash ladies don't sleep on LA girls this is some really good mascara I love the size of the wand I love huge brushes because it just makes the application a whole lot easier and my individual lashes look so much fuller now I'm using the city colors um, contour stick and I'm using the highlighting area just to place a little dap on my nose and to set my makeup I'm going to be using my Milani multitask facial powder which I absolutely love you can pick this up at any type of drugstore now I did pick this up here from Walgreens which is the Fergie by Wet n Wild. This is the bronzing powder. I love it. It's so pretty and I'm also using the highlighting powder as well. Really inexpensive. You can get this right from Walgreens or probably just basically any drugstore. Now back into the clean colors. I'm going to be using the blush from that. Ladies, like I said, really inexpensive palette. The color payoff is amazing. You can see my facial features coming out and as well to set my makeup I'm going to be using the LA Girls HD setting spray which is also available at Sister 21 and to top my lips off one of my favorite favorite lipsticks is the matte velvet from LA Girls which is snuggle I love this color because it just goes for any season now on to the hair this hair is super old it is over two and a half years old and I did make this into a unit using hair from simplyvirginhair.com. This was their Brazilian straight. I highlighted the heck out of this hair and I absolutely love it. I wear it from time to time. A lot of times once I put it on, I cannot take it off because it's just a, just a great unit. To slick my edges down, I do have a video on this, which is Even New York Extra Firm Hold um, Edge Tamer. Ladies, this edge tamer is like a V-bomb, and it will have your edges laying down. It does say 24-hour hold, and they ain't never live. So I hope you enjoyed this video. This is the finished look. You see my part is looking right, and I'm spraying some of my topic carotene filler fibers just to set it off. And I am feeling myself with my inexpensive shirt on and my dried up roses in the background. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe. And if you want a wig made, I will post the information below for my wig website. And as always, stay diva and divalicious. Bye.